Hello everyone, this is ACH AI Akaya bringing you game number two between Killer Plague and Darkness. And this is the round of one action still between the Vile Gaming Network and uh, SC2Armory.com. So this has been an exhibition matchup between the two community sites and there are five players representing each community site. And so far SC2Armory.com has jumped out to a huge lead, uh, already knocking out three players and Darkness winning the first game of his matchup. So uh, SC2Armory is in very, very good shape to take down the entire match right now but uh, once again we do have steps of war this is a two-player map and in the upper right we do have darkness spawning as the red zerg which once again he is playing for sc2armory.com if you're not familiar with him uh, and in the lower left here we have killer plague as the pink protoss and once again this being a two-player map uh, both players obviously know where the other starts and this is also a very very common map for cheese strategies because of the short short rush distance by ground between the two and you can see that the zerg drone from darkness already getting up into the base of killer plague so he is going to have all the intel he needs and he is probably going to be keeping an eye out to see exactly what buildings are in killer plague's base just to see if there's any kind of uh, stupid cheese strategy or anything like that going on that he needs to prepare for and uh, likewise killer plague is going to be scouting out the zerg player for as long as possible to make sure there's no kind of seven pool or anything crazy like that that he would get rushed by and not be ready for but it looks like darkness is actually going to back off with his drone since he scouted the base uh, to see that there was a pylon and a gateway and given the timing of that pylon and gateway he is aware that there is no kind of hidden or proxy buildings on the map so he is going to feel safe and move back into his base meanwhile back at his base he does have a spawning pool up and running already uh, and it looks like that is about halfway or a little over halfway done rather so he will have that spawning pool out here pretty early opting to go for the spawning pool first whereas last game we saw in lost temple he went for the uh 15 hatch 15 spawning pool so he got his spawning pool first went for a much more economic build so definitely going for a little bit more of a rush tech build and there's actually another drone inside the base of darkness scouting out the perimeter of his base to make sure there's no hidden pylons for cannon rushes or anything silly like that but uh meanwhile it looks like there is a drone scouting out the base for killer plague he has got a uh, drone right in the middle of these two buildings up at the front here the cyber core and the pylon so uh he is aware that there is an early cybernetics core out on the map right now and one zealot being warped in for killer plague and it looks like he is putting down a second gateway so as of right now he's actually going an identical build to what he did in game one um which basically, if you were not uh, paying attention or did not watch game number one, he basically went gateway cyber core gateway, um, and then once he got that cyber core with the uh, gate or warp gate research going, um, at about halfway he put in two more gateways, warped them or changed them all into warp gates, and just basically tried to stream as many units as he could at the Zerg player um, to try to take him out early and break his entrance. Fortunately for Darkness, though, he had a lot of queens, a lot of Zerglings, and a few spine crawlers, and that happened to be enough to hold off that early pressure from the Protoss player so we'll see if he's able to do it again on just one base rather than going for the fast expand we do see that he has a roach horn out so uh, definitely darkness going for a slightly different build and uh, as opposed to the last game um, he just now putting down his hatchery at his natural expansion um, but once again it looks like there is a very very similar build for killer plague at this point we'll see if he opts to go for that extra two gateways here in a little bit it looks like his cybernetics core is researching the warp gate upgrade which should be about halfway here in a few seconds so we'll keep an eye on the production overlay here to see and he is putting down one more gateway and as soon as he reaches 150 minerals i would expect him to put down one more possibly um although no it doesn't look like he is going to so we'll we'll see if that actually comes up or not sometimes people go uh, i've seen a lot of players go for three gate into a robo facility so we'll uh, keep an eye out to see if he goes for something like that but it looks like there is one gateway coming in and the warp gate technology still researching and he is building some stalkers as well uh, meanwhile the zerg player trying to get out uh some roaches right now and it looks like uh, the zerg player darkness was actually able to kill that probe before it was able to scout the roach warren from the back of his base here although it looks like he was back there right when the zerg player started building it so i'm not sure if he's aware that that was a roach warren or if he thinks that it may have been a baneling's nest or if he even noticed it i gotta think that he did because it seems like these guys know what they're doing and i know that darkness is a high level player so uh we'll see exactly how that plays out here if he's going to have the correct counters for the roaches but it looks like he's actually going for the four gate rather than trying to get that robotics facility which if he saw 
<laughs> he's saying I'm playing so bad. But if he had seen that Roach Warren, then I would expect that he would have gone for the uh, Robotics Facility to get the hard counter for the Roaches, which is going to be the uh, Immortals, of course. But it looks like he did not go for that, so maybe he was not paying attention when that building was put down behind the Mineral Line for Darkness. But anyways, there are a decent amount of Roaches starting to stream out on the map. And if we take a look at the Units Overlay here, we can see that there are eight Roaches along with one Zergling right now. But they are going to be meeting up in the middle of the map right now. A handful of Zealots and Stalkers with one Sentry trailing behind running into these Roaches from Darkness. And unfortunately, he does not have enough to take on this army right now. And it looks like he is going to have to back up into his base. Um, looking at the Production Overlay here, we can see he's getting 18 Zerglings right now. Which he's got to make really good use of them because he is going to be supply blocked here shortly if he loses any more Overlords. Um, but it looks like they are going to try to focus fire down these Zealots first. And then uh, the Zerglings will hopefully be able to get a good surround on these Stalkers and do some serious damage to them. And it looks like he is going to be able to take down most of these Stalkers before they're able to get out of his base. Only five Stalkers making it out and two of them are very, very badly damaged. And it looks like more Stalkers coming up into play right now. Um, and they are going to force the Zerg Player Darkness to push back into his base. So uh, it looks like he is going to have to play a little bit more defensively for the time being. Although uh, there are more drones coming out at the uh, natural expansion here. So we will see him pull ahead in a slight econ advantage here shortly I would think as long as he can hold on to that base uh, but it looks like uh, Killer Plague is moving in once again and a lot of uh, stalkers here he's going to have a hard time defending against this with the small amount of roaches that he currently has manages to take out the last remaining zealot but uh, there are more zealots coming up in here right now and a lot of stalkers to deal with darkness is actually in very very bad shape right now he may be overrun here very shortly if he cannot manage to crank out some units here very quickly as you can see a lot of zerg trying to be hashed right now at the main base um, and we see one roach actually being produced as well but I don't think this is going to be enough given that there are some zealots here at the base as well and unfortunately a lot of the zerglings go down as soon as they hatch because of the amount of stalker fire along with those zealots out of the expansion and the hatchery at his natural is going to go down as we see more zealots streaming into darkness's base looking back at his main base he does not have a whole lot to defend with trying to get down a few spine crawlers very quickly and he has about 10 zerglings it looks like but no roaches on the map for him right now and I don't believe he has the speed upgrade no he does not have the speed upgrade so he is actually in really bad shape right now and it looks like this game is definitely going to go to killer plague um, unfortunately this is going to be a one and one for the series so we are going to have to go to an ace match and you do see darkness GG right there and it looks like uh, they are going to be moving on to the ace match right now to decide who wins this matchup and once again if darkness can pull out another win he will win the series two in one at this point which will make the SC2 armory four in zero oh in their matchups in the first round so let's move on to game number three and see how this plays out GG